The former media aide to ex-president Goodluck Jonathan Reno Mokri has alleged that he was trailed and attacked after hashtag harass Buhari out of New York protests. Nigerian News reports that President Buhari's appearance at the United Nations General Assembly was met by massive protests by different groups, amongst which was hashtag harass Buhari out of New York, which was spearheaded by the activist Reno Omokri. In a video posted on his Instagram account, the activist claimed the protest was successful as people left their jobs to join him in the protest. However, the attack came after the protest was over and he retired back to the hotel where he lodged. Meanwhile, the former presidential aide Reno Mokri has been accused of collecting money to stage a protest against President Muhammad Buhari. In a statement to newsmen on Friday in Lagos, the National Youth Coalition accused Omokri of collecting the sum of $10 million from opposition members and some foreign enemies to blackmail Buhari. In the statement released by its national coordinator of the group, Mr. Ulubenga Michael, the group said the former presidential aide is betraying his country for a pot of sour porridge in a foreign land. The group, however, stated that Reno Mokri's activism does not reflect the true wishes of Nigerians or the state of affairs in the country. Reno, who has no visible means of livelihood but survives on blackmailing his country and its leaders before the world, however, advised Nigerians in New York to speak the language Reno understands to him, saying Nigeria is our collective heritage and we must not allow any individual to destroy our image for selfish reasons. The statement read in part. Reno Mokri has always been speaking against uh, President Mohamed Buhari's administration. And we know while Buhari um, was in the U.S. to give his own speech during the 76th um, General Assembly of the United Nations, there were different protests. There was um, the Ninas, the Nigerian indigenous nationalities. We know they were there as well. Odudua peoples, um, the Odudua nation, IPOB, um, all of them, the one that uh, Professor Akintoye, Banji Akintoye talked about. Reno Mokri was also there um, in his own um, unit, a different unit, which is the hashtag harass Buhari out of um, the U.S. We know for Ninas, their mission was to expose Buhari's government to the U.N. and let um, the U.N. know about the genocide President Mohamed Buhari is committing and everything going on in the country, the insecurity, and the lopsided appointments, the um, sort of oppression that Buhari uses, that was the mission of Ninas. But for Renan Mokri, his own was to harass Buhari out of New York. And he said the protest was successful. He was actually appreciating those who turned up for the protest. And there was a video, there's a video he released. I'll show us that video. And surprisingly, after um, the, the protest, he... On his way back to his hotel, he was attacked. He was attacked. Wow. Surprisingly, he was trailed. And he said he got his security detail. So meaning that he knows that um, something, anything of such could have happened. He was attacked. So the video shows, um, I'll show us part of the video, not all of it, because um, there was some form of violence and YouTube does not um, support all of that. Because at some point, the man who attacked him or who planned to attack him, he carried a heavy metal and it was um, the security detail um, Reno Mokri hired that was trying to fight him off. So they were hitting each other with that metal. So I won't be able to put that part. I'm going to cut it at some point, but I'll just show us the video where he talked about and um, what happened. So he was really, uh, he was appreciating those who turned up for the um, protest that everything work, went well. Not until this happened. The man just followed them just uh, close to his hotel surprising i don't know who must have sent that person and uh, where that came from also after that when i got this shocking uh, uh, one again that uh, reno mockery was paid this statement it came from uh they call themselves coalition national youth coalition you know in nigeria there are so many groups right now so many bodies this one will just come with this this one they say they are national youth coalition they are the ones accusing reno mockery of collecting $10 million from opposition members and some foreign enemies to blackmail Buhari. Do they blackmail Buhari? Buhari has already blackmailed himself by all of his activities and his wickedness in the country and everything he does. So nobody needs to blackmail him. He's already blackmailed himself. 
So this report that is coming, Reno Mokri has not reacted to this very one. He was just reacting to the attack on his life, how someone tried to attack him. I believe that he's going to respond to this. Uh, the, the, the statement released by the national coordinator of the group said that uh, the former presidential aide is betraying his country. Reno Mokri is, uh, we know he's an activist as well fighting for the good of the people he doesn't live in the country he could as well just forget about everything happening in the country and just remain where he is but every now and then we hear him speaking against president Mohammed buhari's and bad policies so i don't think that is betrayer so these people we know obviously they are still part of him buhari's uh, and loyalist or supporters who have come out with this claim well, guys, I'll play you the video I talked about earlier on where Reno Mokri was narrating his experience, but we did cut out to the part where the confrontation started. I'll show you that video now, but before we do, guys, please don't forget to um, like, share, and to subscribe. Um, also, click on the notification bell. It enables you to get updates as soon as we upload. Now, watch the video. had people coming in they left their jobs and they left their businesses they came to join me and you know it's such a good thing that you know you make a call and then people um, they listen to your call they heed your call and they come and they came um, obviously we had some pro Buhari protesters that were there and uh, they were obviously paid how we know um, you can see the video we release videos um, uh, a lot of them were African Americans and uh, they were uh, they were hired because of their color they could blend in as Nigerians we've got video proof which are uh, I released on YouTube Facebook Instagram Twitter and so uh, they were paid as much as $500 that's what they're using your money for you know I mean it's quite sad but you know I thank all those that came now the reason why I'm doing this video is because I was trailed from the Haras Buhari uh, out of New York protest trail to my hotel and I was attacked and I thank God for my bodyguard I was provided the security detail for the time while I was in New York and uh, my bodyguard Sean Riley Liam Sean Riley Sean Liam Riley actually so his name is Sean Riley you know like did a fantastic job I'm gonna put his Twitter handle there so if you need um, a protective detail of bodyguard while you are in New York or in the tri-state area you just have to have um, uh, Sean Riley he did a fantastic job this guy just attacked me and then Sean defended me defended me so professionally you know uh, uh, pushed me back you know in, in, into the hotel uh, fended of the guy called the police stayed there gave a situation report to the police and then went off with the police so that they could do um, they could do a sketch of the guy so now uh, the NYPD is looking for the guy you're gonna watch the video if you know the guy if you live in New York and you know this guy you know um, please just um, uh, comment under this video you know or do me an email or you know just go directly to the NYPD um, a detective is handling it right now but to God be the glory, I was saved. I'm on. I'm you know. I'm unharmed. I'm unhurt. I'm in a good spirit. You know, and I really thank Sean 